Hey guys, how is it going? Hold on one sec. My messy closet. There we go, that's better. Oh, let's get this thing squared away. How's everybody doing today? Um, it's been a long one for me. Phone's still uh, in the cradle. It's a baby. No, it's charging, uh, so I'm a little bit tethered right now. We might have to actually do one of those... Uh, what do you call it? Stationary streams. Look at, wow, what a hillbilly do I look like. No offense to all you hillbillies. I got family that's hillbilly. But I'm getting dentures soon, and they've basically pulled this tooth, all those teeth, all the ones that crack with the lightning. There's a bunch here, too, that still have chips and cracks. But, man, I am not looking forward to a few, I'm going to have to go for a few months with, with, um, no teeth and just like mm, 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 situation if you have implants if you know anything about that like i did not expect at 35 to be getting all dentures but i think i'm gonna do the implants where you get one two like like four up here and then two and then one two, so four like eight total maybe and that locks in stuff but if it weren't for the lockdown going on right now, I'd go out of country and get it done for dirt cheap. But in any case, just a little uh, side note on like why I look crazy, look whatever, why I look like Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, Merjul, how's it going? Aquarium Cop, my brother, how's it going? Peplin Creek, so good to see you. Jeff, very good. Um... Let's see here. So today I uh, I went and I visited uh, uh, Jason over at uh, Redfish Bluefish. Craig, hello. Um, let's see here. Uh, Laura, hello. Laura, um, let's see. Just want to catch everybody. I need a dab. Um, if you guys have questions, as of course. Uh, just do at Alexander or at Alex or at the secret history living in your aquarium, please. Um, Pat, Jess, Cole, what's up? What's up, Pat? Misfits, what's up? Watching TV, I can't see chat. My phone is tiny. Did you get a green fish? <laughs> yes, I did get a green fish. I got a yellowish green fish. Yellowish green, black. Uh, there's lots of colors involved. Fish dreams, hello. Fucking fish, hello, what is up, Gav? How's it going, brother? Uh, okay, all right, I'm almost caught up. Uh, Halen Bauer, how's it going? Um, I got snacks. Oh, I wish I had snacks. Uh, you want to come up and play? I'm not streaming with StreamYard, but I do need to start doing that, and in, if that was the case, uh, I, I, I do want to start doing that. So, not now, but yeah, and if you want later tonight um probably gonna hang out with my wife after this stream just for a little while but then after that later uh we might i'll probably be around on the internet if you want to chat and hang out kev usually we've been lurking in the chat rooms on someone's channel late at night um let's see here might as well get minutes towards your channel or whoever needs them to get monetized and whatnot um ellie lights l lights hello from the uk hello uh thanks for joining us so I had a really cool trip today. Um, as you guys probably do know, Jason from Redfish Bluefish. Um, let's see here. I've got my laptop, and I uploaded some of my favorite images to um, to my Dropbox. And the thing is, I have video, and I did a video tour, and that'll be out um, probably tomorrow. I'll probably post that tomorrow. Um... I'll probably post the tour tomorrow. The tour is going to be 40 minutes or so. It's a long one. But there's, you know, 60 species. All but four are, are rare fish. Um, or, you know, it, it's something you may have seen, but like a twist on it. Like um, some version of it that you may not have seen. Uh, so I took the ferry over there and um, to Woodby Island is where Redfish Bluefish is. So it's not real accessible if you're just in Seattle. Uh, you drive about 45 minutes north, 
then you get on a ferry, and if you're me, you miss the ferry and watch it pulling out, and then you wait, whatever, an hour, half hour, and then you get on the next ferry, hopefully, and then you go over there and um, drive another, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes, and then you get to the place after, oh, after a, a 20 minute, 30 minute ferry ride. Uh, and the ferry ride was nice. It was like really stormy and there were some dolphins, uh, or porpoises, I should say. Porpoisei, 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 mama si, mama se, mama so sa, uh, porpoisei, porpapa, pa, 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 porpoise. Uh, let's see here. So I'm trying to see right now, um, if, let's see if my Dropbox actually put those new files in. And I can show you guys some of the fish, if so. But sometimes it takes a while to uh, to sink or, yeah, swim. Sink. Uh, sink. Sink. Let's see. Is it, gonna, is it going to sink? I don't know that it will sink. We shall see. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, uh, but it, the the long story short is on the trip to Jason. So I got some fish. I'm going to show you guys in a sec. And the the long short of it is that the fish he has are jaw dropping, incredibly beautiful fish. Um, probably twenty or thirty species I've never seen in person um, in my whole life. And then the other ones were, um, you know, just nice fish, hard to find usually. Or if, for instance, he had, um, he had, um, uh, sorry guys, I'm tired. You know, you know, usually I take a nap in the day before I stream, um, cause of my, the, the head injury I, I have, I, I need that nap usually, but today it's, I've been up and I think I left and. Well, I was getting ready and doing stuff around 10 and then just got done, wrapped up. So I'm, I'm a bit scatter shot in my, in my brain. Um, usually five hours is when I need to take a rest. But in any case, so auto sinkless, that's the fish I was thinking of. Auto sinkless, he has them, but he has the golden variety. So, you know, just stuff like that where it, it's similar, but it's a little different. And, just really cool stuff, and I did get some fish, so I figure uh, I've teased you guys enough. I'll show you the fish I got, and um, I am uh, Chevy. Thank you so much for sharing info. Um, yeah, if if anybody wants to contribute, I mean, like things like this. Uh, obviously, it was really fun for me. I enjoyed it. I bought uh, some some fish. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's 10 bucks each way for my truck to get on the ferry. It's 9, I don't know, 950 or something. And then, you know, gas and blah, blah, blah. So doing these little tours and trips, uh, they do take a little bit of money. But I hope to get, you know, bring you guys more. But um, as Chevy was just, um, you know, uh, posting links and things below, uh, I figured that was that would be a tie-in. Uh, I didn't I didn't text her and say, "Hey, start begging for for money for me or anything." So, um, but that's sweet. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I have baby brine shrimp that are ready today too. I hadn't hatched any in a few weeks, and I just got some uh, hatched in the little hobby hatch that I have. There's a link to that in the description because um, some people were asking about that again the other day with the, the Zeiss or Zeiss filter uh, that's out, or hatchery thing that's out now. Um, I really like this super basic one. I'll show you guys, and we'll go get brine shrimp, and then we'll we'll feed some of the fishies with the shrimpies. Uh, so let's, let's see here. I think I can unplug for a moment, eh? Probably have to return to the plug again, but I can show you what I got. Um... He has this bootlicker. Yeah, you got the father fish thing going on. Uh, hey, here, fishy. What's up? Um, also, Vinoxki. 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 I never say the K part. Vinoxki. Sorry about that. Uh, Ford 9 Hamburger. I'm going to set up a tank for breeding snails, mostly ram's horns. Any advice? Uh, just feed them a lot. Um, 
just just put too much food in and then just watch the ammonia make sure that doesn't get too high but overfeed it that's the trick all right guys you guys ready to um turn it around martin i know you're i know sarcasm when i see it okay so these i've never seen these in the u.s uh outside of exhibits and get out of here water lettuce you're ruining my life and my shot these guys hopefully hopefully we've got two females and a male in here i'm hoping and i'm gonna actually try spawning them down in the two and a half uh gallons down over yonder behind me see this one in the center definitely um, um i think that one's definitely gonna be a female with the the big old belly on her and this other one looks to be big bellied and then i think this one uh is a male also i'm guessing that also because that there is red in the tail that bleeds see how it bleeds into the tail a little bit on some of these well the one that it bleeds in on the most right there um might be the male i don't know we'll find out but these fish uh i mean they're going to be uh, they've been a hundred dollars a piece when i've seen them for sale in the u.s 50 to a hundred dollars a piece um when i've seen them listed even and and uh jason is selling them for way way less than that um i'm probably i think we're gonna square away money later because i did some work for him uh oh these are just neon uh these are neon blue uh tetras but they are long veil fins so they actually have not just the long fin gene, but the veil fin gene also, which makes them the 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 fins curve too at the end of them, and it gives uh, the appearance of a goldfish almost. But they're still just the same um, care basically as as any of the other uh, neon tetras. However, I think these are going to be retailing for somewhere between fifteen and twenty dollars a piece. Uh, he has a tank of a hundred of them. Boy, did he risk his butt importing all those. But beautiful fish. I'm going to try to spawn them. You, you know, I'm going to be... I think I'm paying about 15 bucks a piece for them uh, to him. So hopefully I can spawn some. I might buy three more in a little while if he still has them, if they last. Uh, and then try to spawn them. Because literally no one is... Uh, no one in the U.S. I don't even know anybody importing these, but I, no one's spawning them, that's for sure. So, yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's crazy for a Neon Tetra, but they're just so stinking beautiful. And they're, as they get older, their fins actually get that color in them. They're red. And these haven't even been fed uh, the high ascotacin uh, or, or carotenoid diet, which would increase that. This is not a CARES fish. Um, this is not a cares fish. He does have gold neons, uh, also, and I did take extensive photos and, uh, video of every fish that I saw there other than one of his convict cichlids. Um, so the other thing I need to do before I let these guys go, I just needed to get them back up to temperature because it took me two hours to get home. So I just quickly tossed them in here and opened up the bag so they'd have oxygen. Um, but the other fish, the next up fish, which right now, these guys have totally lost their color, sadly. Oh, they're going after each other harshly. Uh, but these are the, you know what, I'm going to give them some, uh, some moss or something. They, they need something. They need a chill pill is what they need. Uh, let me get some moss. So, I think they're all going to be going in here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. You guys need to chillax. Chill. Be like the dude in the Big Lebowski. And I'm splashing and making a mess. Making a mess. Okay. Here we go. Alright. So, these guys, though, 
I have pictures uh, that I'll be posting for members. I'll post some pictures in the community tab for non-members, but I think what I'm going to do is get a link for members because, I mean, there's just no way to show the incredible color on on some of these fish other than photos. And beyond that, um, the, the video, you'll get an idea. He'll post some pictures too. Hopefully that stops them fighting for a moment. Um, but these guys are the... They're very new, very rare Episto. And they're too young to really sex too well. The females, they lose their mask, that, that black banding by the eye there. So I'm hoping that this one who has the full black banding up the head versus this one that does not, who's lack, who's starting to lose it, that they won't, they, you know, that they'll be okay. Um, so we'll see. Um, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Uh, a good way to sex the neons is usually that the female, um, the the female neon has uh, a line that has a curve in it, kind of like an S, and the male is straight. However, these are a little weird. Um, you can see that 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 one on the far right definitely has an S to the blue line on her um, because of that curviness of her body. And then the one at the bottom is very straight lined. I don't know about the other one, but the other one does have a belly. So I'm hoping I pick two females and a male. Uh, just because of the price, I really don't want to uh, have to buy more, uh, ideally. And then, yeah, these guys are the um, Banshees, like Banshee, like the Spectre or Ghost or scary creature uh and hopefully i got a female and a male i don't know it, it's, it's really hard to tell when they're this age but this one's definitely a male i know that much the one on top the one below it's it, time will tell uh, but they're they're a little sensitive and these are from peru uh and they are the episto bane sheet and then they're the name that they've been going by lately they're they're different than every other episto. Can you see how he's how she's sitting back right now and kind of like almost like a goby would rather than floating um, like that, like erect with the fins and the the bladder and everything, kind of uh, in aligned at a at a forty five. Whereas she's bent. These guys can bend around the rocks and actually eat, and they stay very 